a lot of my collections are historic typewriters. There's a lot of variations and a lot of things to work on mechanically about them. My favorite is this one, the Williams. It's very, it's very old and quite rare, and it's one of the very first visible typewriters. It has a very different way of typing, because back then you won't be able to see what you're typing on. But this one, it's quite simple, yet ingenious, I would say. It's one of the most fun typewriters that I restored. This is the first time I'm opening this up very small, older typewriters. The smallest amount of parts can be just a few hundreds. The newer ones can go from, some, from hundreds to thousands, so those are basically the main you know, difficulties that I find when fixing these typewriters, just finding the problems. There has been a surge of people buying typewriters. I have had a lot of connections, especially in the collector world. I was just lucky because my friend got this tools from an old school typewriter repairman's family. One of the typewriters that I don't have yet, but I would love to have is a very, very rare one. It's an Oliver number one. The number two is also a bit rare to find, but um, the number one is very, very expensive. Whenever you type on typewriters, you don't want to make mistakes. Um, it's like you are focused on what you're typing on. And, you know, at the end, it's something that you work hard on. Mm -hmm.